Hello Virgo, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of 10, 2 through 9, 2017. The cards I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to get those straight out the book to ensure you get your real message. I want to thank everybody for a like, share, subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. If you would like a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on for the Virgo, Virgo, Virgo? What's going on for the Virgo love reading for October 2nd, 8th, 9th, 2017? Virgo love reading. October 2nd through 9th, 2017. Virgo, Virgo. Virgo. All right, so it seems like somebody is coming to their senses about something. Somebody is making a wise decision or looked at as wise. All right, so it seems like someone may be um, like losing a battle purposely or just refusing to, to have some kind of power struggle with somebody. All right, so it seems like somebody is, I feel like somebody is refusing to have a power struggle because they know they worth. I know what I am. I, I know what I need. You know, you can't take that away from me so you can go fight somebody else. That's what I'm feeling like here. All right, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Virgo love reading 10, 2 through 9, 2017. All right, it seems like, um, somebody could possibly be trying to like throw up things that they did for you in your face. I did this, I did this, I did that. And you just like, so, you know, or this could be going the other way around. All right, let's see what this is talking about. So it seems like it could be some people that at your work that's your, acting like your friends or these people, I feel like they was trying to protect you from something at one point, but they're not trying to protect you anymore. It's like you found what you needed to see, but it wasn't what you thought it was, but you found out that this person um, didn't love you or you don't love them. Like the heart, your heart is not willing to make a commitment to this person or they're not to you. And I feel like your friends have taken the gloves off when it comes to talking to you about this situation. All right. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Okay, yeah. So it seems like... Yeah, this person has been doing stuff for you, but it's still like, okay, you're not going to be throwing this up in my face. I'm not going to deal with that. That's what's going on. All right, so what's crazy is you're still sexually attracted to this person, and they are to you too. But you got this issue where this person is trying to overpower you, trying to make you feel like less of a person because they do stuff for you. And you're like, I don't need that crap, you know? Like, I don't I don't need it. You're doing it, you know, but you're not going to change me. Oh, geez. So, it's definitely some secrets coming out. And then, uh, let's see what these secrets are. What are these secrets? <laughs> Everything. All right, so this is the only thing that came out. So it seems like you may getting you may be getting ready to leave this person secretly. You know, if they don't know you, just gonna up and leave. And it's because of all their baggage. I feel like this um this power struggle thing it might have came from a relationship before, and you just like uh uh I'm not about to deal with this. I'm not gonna deal with this situation. All right, what's going on for the Virgo? It's Cleo cards. I read these straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. Okay. All right. What's going on with the Virgo, 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 October 2nd through 9th, 2017, love reading. Virgo, love reading. What's going on October 2nd through 9th, 2017? All right, that wants to come out. So it seems like you're getting money. You're getting your own money. So it's like, I don't care about the little things you're doing, you know? Yeah, you got um, financial stability on your own right now. Yeah.
All right, yeah, so coming out of a time of depression and, like, just thinking, like, oh, I'm not about to be thinking about this crap. All right, yeah, <laughs> dang. So it seems like you came out of depression because you realize you got a lot of choices. This is not your only choice, and you're definitely letting this person know that. All right, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Mm. So... Yeah, it seems like this fight will be unsuccessful, meaning that you might still deal, deal with this person, but you just had to let them know, like, hey, I got options, okay? Oh, and there you go. You know, I got money and I got options, all right? That's what that says to me, but let me read the book. All right, we got the Hermit reversed. Hermit, Hermit, Hermit. Uncertainty, depression, and doubt, okay? Now we have the second... I mean, the second, what the heck? The seven of cups. Seven of cups. And it's upright. It says, be very careful making mistakes. A good choice is hidden um, by many other bad choices. Do not fool yourself into unreal dreams. Take the best choice and, and solid choice. So I feel like this is like going back to this person knowing that they're um, an emotional controller. So it's, I feel like that's what's like... That's going to be your downfall, still dealing with this person, knowing they're going to try to control you. Because after a while, somebody keeps trying to control you and telling you you ain't nothing, you ugly, you blah, blah, blah. You're going to start believing it, even if you know it ain't true. So it's going to chip away at you. So it's like, that's maybe why it's unsuccessful, you know? All right, but we got the six of staffs. Six of staffs reversed. All right, that says paranoia, nervousness, concerns about betrayal, a false, mm, a false pride could be an obstacle. So, yeah, oh, yeah, that false pride. Is, uh, okay, the thing is, is this person is gonna end up ruining you, ruining you if you stick around. That piece by piece, you know, those chunks are big and they never come back. You know, if they come back, they be a little disformed, just like your bones when they break and come back together. You know, they're they're never the same. So you can sit there if you want to. All right, so we got the nine of coins. Uh, many of your dreams are approaching. It is time for financial gain and realization of your goals. So it's basically like, no matter what go on, it seems like you're going to have a pretty good um, situation. You know, you got your stuff together. And it seems like it's getting ready to get better. But this person is um, is no good. It's no good unless you keep in the mindset that this person isn't... Uh, the, the words that they say are irrelevant. This person could possibly um, stop you from everything. Stop you from whatever you're doing. I feel like you're getting ready to do something real good. And this person, and they venom could stop you but that's all i have for you guys make sure to check your sun moon and rising signs if you want a personal reading check in the description box below email me we can set something up other than that have a wonderful week